Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So a few of you guys have asked me what is the most expensive wallet that I own? And as you saw by the title, this video is solely based on what the most expensive wallet that I own is. And that wallet is, of course, the Gray Vandium Titanium Wallet. So let's check it out. And you might be wondering two things. Why is the wallet still in the box and what am I drinking here? I hope you guys don't mind, but I'm gonna have a little drink throughout this video. It's my most favorite drink in the world, which is the Monte Carlo. But to answer your question why it's still in the box is because this bad boy is expensive. This is their least expensive titanium wallet, which is my most expensive wallet in my collection at 599 bucks. And you might be asking, why the heck is this so expensive? Well. I have no idea. It just is. So let me give you guys a nice close up here. This isn't gonna be a full review of the Gray Vandium Titanium Wallet. I already reviewed the Gray Vandium Aluminum Wallet right here, which is actually, I named this my ninth most favorite wallet of 2021. And you can see they're basically identical except for the materials. So if you wanna see my full review on the Gray Vandium, I'll put that link down below in my description box. Basically, I'm sort of afraid to carry this on an everyday basis. It's definitely not my everyday driver. If I was gonna have an everyday driver, that was the Vandium, I would actually use the aluminum model here because it's roughly half the cost of this titanium version. So yeah, this bad boy only comes out for special occasions. Um, I did mention that it's $599 and it's the cheapest titanium version. So what are the other versions that are more expensive? There is the Stealth Titanium at $799, a Sonic Blue Titanium at $799, the Gold version, which is $1,099, and the granddaddy of them all, the Aurora Titanium Card Wallet at $1,399. Wow, man. That is tasty. So why exactly am I making this video? And I can promise you, it's not to flex. No, not at all. I'm making this video for two reasons. The first reason, I've had quite a few people ask me what the most expensive wallet in my collection is. This right here. And number two, there is a small handful of guys out there that actually are looking for just the most expensive wallet or expensive gear in general that they can get a hold of. For the guys out there that like the bling and spending top dollar on their accessories and you don't know about the Gray Vandium yet, well, this video is for you. So let's quickly run down the features here. This can hold between one and 15 cards. The external plates here are CNC'd from grade five titanium. The internal plates are CNC'd out of carbon fiber. And then if I get in close, you can see that mechanically textured surface on these titanium plates. It's absolutely beautiful. So why did I put the Gray Vandium aluminum version in ninth place for my favorite wallets of 2021? Because I think it's an absolutely beautiful beautiful wallet, extremely functional, extremely minimal. It's basically the exact same size as a credit card. So if I hold up a credit card right next to it, actually, let me just put the aluminum version to the side and put this credit card in the titanium version so you can see it here. I mean, check this out. It's exactly the same size as a credit card. There is no room for error. If I just slightly push it down a little bit, look, it just peeks out of the bottom there. And because it has this fairly large notch right here, it makes it extremely easy to get your card out of the wallet. And then putting your card back in there is just as easy because the internal plates right there, it has a little groove and that groove right there makes it pretty easy to put those cards back in. It's just a nice, functional minimalist wallet. And these plates mirror themselves. So if I flip it, that notch is exactly in the same place. So that means I can have my two most used cards on each side of the wallet. So on this side, I can have my most used credit card. And on this side, I can have my work ID or driver's license. And because the plates are held together by this elastic band here, you can put as little as one card in there or up to 15 and you can see yeah, the shake test, cards are going nowhere. But the only issue that I had with this wallet is if you're a cash carrier, it's a no-go. That's right, there is nowhere to store your cash in this wallet unless you feel like having only a few credit cards in there and then storing your bills in there, but basically it's not meant for that. Gray didn't even give you a place to put a money clip or anything like that. They just said, no cash in this wallet, it's cards only. But you know, for someone like me, 
I'm cool with that. So what are your thoughts on the Grave Vandium card wallet in titanium here at 500 and 99 bucks. Yes, I know this wallet isn't for everybody, especially at that price point, but it is going to appeal to a small percentage of you guys out there. And if you're one of those guys and didn't know about the Grave Vandium wallet in titanium, well, now you know. And if you are interested, I will have a link down below in my description box taking you right to the Grave Vandium site. No, I am not sponsored. I don't make any money if you guys buy from that link. Just letting you guys know about it. All right, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. What do you think of the Grey Vandium wallet in titanium, the most expensive wallet in my collection? This is my most expensive. My second most expensive wallet is the Aviator Titan 1. Um, I did a video on that. I'll put that link down below as well. And third place, of course, would be the Vandium in aluminum at 350 bucks. But like I said, if you are interested in the titanium Grey Vandium wallet here, I will have links below in my description box as well. But if you guys did enjoy this video, Please give me that thumbs up. Please subscribe. Ah, so good. And go!